What's going on there YouTube? This is ODC That's Me and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Universe Classics Wave 16, also known as the Bane Wave, Azrael Batman. And uh, if you're not familiar with this Batman, this is not actually Bruce Wayne. It is uh, Jean-Paul Valley. And uh, he took over for Batman during the Nightfall story arc. As Batman had his, or, you know, the real Batman, Bruce Wayne, Batman, had his back broken by Bane. And he took over while uh, Bruce was getting, tending to his wounds and, you know, getting a surgery on his back and trying to uh, get better. So he took over for him. Uh, and uh, he went a little, a little, a little crazy. Uh, <laughs> Acting as Batman, eventually Bruce Wayne Batman had to come back and kick the crap out of Ezreal Batman and take over the uh, moniker as Batman again. Um, but uh, while Bruce was gone, he 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 uh, he seeked revenge on Bane and beat the bejesus out of Bane. Basically, uh, which I. I understood it in the story, but uh, I didn't really agree with it. I thought Bane was you know, a fairly new character at the time, and it would have been—I think it would have been better if Bane was seen in a more stronger light. Um, I think Bane is a, a great villain. Um, they really portrayed him well as more of a, a strategist in in the um, Nightfall arc. And uh, taking down Batman, which is a you know that's that's not something easy that anybody else has done before. So it was like very shocking at the time when uh, Bane broke uh, Bruce Wayne's back, or Batman, the real Batman's back. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely definitely a really great figure here. He was also had a variant, the red variant, which it came in the Nightfall two pack with uh, Batman. And, um, yeah, so, basically, really great figure here. Um, it was a, one of the best waves, I think. Uh, the Bane wave was a very strong wave. I really liked that wave. That and the Dark Side wave were uh, two of the best, I think. And, uh, yeah, so definitely really like this figure a lot. He's got a ton of detail to him. Really great utility belt here. It's a little off-centered. Um, I've noticed that with a couple of things, like his um, his wings back here. They're like a little off-centered, and I've, I've hot water, cold water. I've used hot water, cold water on them, and they just go back to where they want to go. <laughs> and it just seems like his upper torso um, is just a little off-centered. Nothing too crazy. I'm not going to beat this figure up. But uh, because it's a really great figure, um, he really came out very well, I think. And um, yeah, he's definitely the, I think, the better looking version um, between him and the red one. But that's just my opinion and whatever. But um, yeah, definitely really cool. He's got his flamethrowers here on his, on his arms. That's what those are. And he's got his wings on the back. He kind of has like a robotic suit. He kind of went the opposite route of what Bruce Wayne was and decided to go with the robotic suit, which I, you know, a lot, I mean, to each their own, a lot of people really liked Azrael Batman. I was never a big fan of it. I mean, as a kid, when I read the, uh, when I was reading the story arc, because I was much younger when it came out, um, I just didn't like the way it looked. It looked just very 90s, um, and uh, it just came off as over the top and a little too much. Um, so I liked I liked the more traditional looking Batman, and um, that's why Bruce Wayne will always be the best Batman. Um, it was actually shocking that they made uh, he made uh, he he named Ezreal as his uh, successor, but. That, nonetheless, I'm still going off on a tangent. Let me get to his articulation here, because I'm just going to keep babbling about this, because it's uh, <laughs> one of the best Batman stories uh, ever ever written. But anyways, his head doesn't really have too much articulation movement because of his collar here is all sculpted in. But it does kind of jiggle a little bit. Jiggle it just a little bit. I want to see you jiggle. Sorry. 
And um, his arm does have a pretty decent range of motion for having so much, so much of this armor in the way. But um, his arm does go up and down. It doesn't really go forward that much. A touch, if you force it, it'll go. Um, and it does move back. Um, his elbow does move down or back and forth. And it has this swivel effect, which is different because there's no bicep swivel because this is all one piece for his armor, part of his armor here. So no bicep swivel, but he does have an elbow swivel. And he does have a wrist rotation, which I, which is okay, which is fine. And he also has a wrist hinge, which goes forward in and out, which is very strange to me. I never understood why Mattel would put a wrist hinge and a wrist rotation on some of their figures and not all of their figures. I mean, it makes the most sense that, that you're, you're, I mean, you're, naturally your wrist does go like this. It doesn't swivel on its own. So, I mean, if you wanted to give them just a bicep swivel and a glove swivel, that would make more sense because you can rotate at your forearm, but you can't rotate your wrist. So that's what always made more sense to me. But I, I like I said, I digress and that's a, a different topic for a different time. Um, so uh, what else here? Oh, his, uh, his gauntlets, his, um, his flamethrower gauntlets can, can move, you can detach them. As you can see there, Bloop. you plug it right back in. You can also uh, rotate that if you want it on the bottom. He's supposed to have it on the top though, but um, he doesn't have an ab crunch here, going forward and back. He does have a waist swivel. T-jointed hips, go out, forward and back. Does have an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, which is I'm surprised they did that because they never usually do that. I'm sorry, I'm like way off camera there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so there you go. There's all of his articulation and his basic foot hinge articulation. Um, so yeah, that is Azrael Batman. He looks great. Um, Definitely, if you have not read uh, the uh, Nightfall story arc, I highly suggest you go go out and grab that, read it. It's uh, especially if you're a Batman fan and you're a new you're or you're new into comics, you should definitely go check that out. If you if you like, whether it's DC Comics, comics itself, it, it's ex <laughs> itself, or um, you're a Batman fan, a newly acquired Batman fan um, yeah definitely go check that story arc out that would probably be one of the first ones I would read um, and uh, it's a great story a uh, great beginning great middle and a great end and uh, yeah so let me know what you guys think if I had to rate this figure I'd probably give him a nine I think he's a very good figure very well done um, don't really have any problem with loose joints or anything. Um, there's a little bit of a lack of articulation just because of what kind of figure he is, but that, that comes with this, with the territory. So, um, yeah, he does have a great look to him. Definitely suggest going out and get, grabbing this figure. Um, let me know what you guys think. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the flip side.